back to New Pokemon Sports and welcome to another VC Battle Stadium Series 12 video. Bring you a Latias team. Now, I know Mike did bring a Latias team like about three ish weeks ago to the channel, but I never got to play it. So I found another Latias team. This team actually got top, or actually got exactly number 49 in season 30 on the Battle Spot ranked ladder. So it's pretty darn good and if you guys haven't noticed for the last couple of episodes we've been taking some top teams from the battle spot ladder that are a little interesting and you know latias and snorlax on a team it seems pretty interesting to me now i'm super excited to try out this team simply because i always feel like latias is a great pokemon that gets overshadowed by the fact that it's super weak to calyrex shadow um but we have evils on this team, so we can kind of deal with the Calyrex Shadow in that sense. Also, Zacian is nothing to be scoffed at. Snorlax is low-key very good into Calyrex Shadow as well, since Calyrex Shadow can't really hurt it. And you can smack it with the Darkest Lariat. So that's kind of the, the thought process here. We already know what Latias does as a Pokemon. Sets Tailwind, has Icy Wind, etc, etc. Speed Control mostly is the, the name of the game when it comes to Latias. So... If you guys are excited to see Latias here on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. This team is also by TBHLA7130 on Twitter. We'll make sure to link their Twitter down below. Thanks so much for making the team public. I'm excited to try this. Let's see how this goes. And let's get on to today's video. Oh boy, my opponent has got some ideas, huh? So they have a Doug Trio on their team. So of course we know that gets Arena Trap and probably does have the Bulldoze for that Solgaleo. Okay, I see it. I see their plan. I'm not liking it, but I do see it. This definitely does seem like it's going to be uh, a straight up Evil Tall game. Like, Evil Tall deals with literally their whole team, but I also can't lose it early on. It's going to be a little bit rough if I lose it early on. Okay, like, clearly we want speed control, right? So I think if we want speed control, we should just go ahead. Bring the Lati in the front. Issue is if they leave with the arena trap, we're going to be stuck in there. Yikes. This is going to be a little bit rough. Okay, let's do double floaties. Just so they aren't super threatened. Or at least we're not super threatened by Duck Trio. I do need to bring Evil Tall, and I think I'm bringing uh, Azacia in this game. Landorus is still very decent for us because they don't have Intimidate on their side of the field, so we can lead with Landorus and not really care. And if they try to lower our stats, then our Wider will be used for that, right? Specifically the Whimsicott. Like, I know I have been seeing Whimsicots nowadays carry things like Charm, carry things like Cotton Spore. You know, they could always try to lower our speed in that case. Let's see what they lead with. Regilecki and Whim. Perfect lead for us. We can match their Tailwind. And we can blow Sun up. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, of course, they could also go for Taunt Whim. And I don't even have to Dynamax here. I could just straight up EQ. I have help we can't ally switch. Okay. I think I'm going to attempt a Tailwind for now. And just EQ. Yeah, we're not we're not going to any. We're not doing anything complicated right now. We're going to keep it nice and simple, nice and stupid. We'll Dynamax later on. We don't have to do it right now. The Landorus lead shuts down that Alecky pretty hard. They're going to click Tailwind. Cool. That means they're not clicking Taunt, which means my Tailwind will also go through. The Alecky can't one-shot it. Well, I guess that is a thing you do. I don't think that knocks me out, though. Oh, it's normal gem. Yeah, it doesn't knock me out, though. Interesting. Yeah, you definitely exploded. Well, that's their fastest Pokemon that I no longer have to deal with. Don't get me wrong. It did do a lot of damage. I can't even, like, deny the fact that it hurt a lot, but... Not what I was expecting out of an Alecky. Definitely not. Granted, it was intimidated, though, so, like, it would have done a lot more had I not led with Landorus. Like, leading with Landorus was the saving grace there. Um, Calyrex is the next issue that we're gonna have to worry about, specifically next to the Ferramosa, too. Their team is so darn fast that even though we do have Tailwind up, it doesn't matter. See, Ally Switch does nothing. I have to swap in Evil Tall. Protect for now, I think. 
Because I don't want to lose my Latias. I don't want to give the plus one to Calyrex at all. It's definitely going to be a Dynamax Evil Tall game, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious with their last two Pokemon on the field. <laughs> Interesting, man. They are going to Dynamax themselves. Okay. Which is it going to be, though? Okay, I'm just gonna protect here. Max Ooze. I just realized that Dynamax Faramosa. That's different. That is definitely different. I am nervous. Should I be nervous? Because I'm nervous. Followed by Astral Barrage. I'm kind of nervous. Max Ooze, are they special? Or is that Poison Jab? That was a plus one. I'm still Dynamaxing it, though. I am still Dynamaxing it, and I'm going to go for Airstreams here just so I can try it out speed. Um, and I think we're sacking off Latias because I don't want to I don't want to throw away my Landorus, at least not yet. So let's try to get some Airstreams going. Let's Dynamax the Evil Tall, make take full advantage of our Assault Vest. All right, big evil tall, baby, big bacon bird. I wish I were more than half health, but hey, oh well. This is just what we're dealing with now. They're gonna airstream themselves. Okay, so they're gonna airstream to match ours. That's a little spooky, not gonna lie. It's actually very spooky. What do I do? Yikes! There might be good news here. And that good news is that only one of these can have a sash, and let's hope it's not Evil Tall. I mean, a Calyrex. I didn't even do enough damage. Wow. Oh, I'm in trouble. I didn't think they also had Airstream. Okay. I have another idea. It requires that my lander is dying now, though. Unfortunately. Sucker Punch is my only win condition now. So I have to undynamax myself. Sack off my Landorus. And protect this turn. It's so dumb how much pressure Calyrex puts this early on. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, the whole explosion lowering my health down to very low, then followed by switching into the Calyrex is super aggro. But you know what? It works. Hopefully this Intimidate helps against that Feromosa. I'm assuming it does. They made a great decision to Dynamax the Feromosa, by the way. Because what that means is that they can get some air, like some airstream boost and stuff. They switch to the Max Darkness into my... Okay. That's going to lower my Landorus's special defense, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Like I said, here is just Sucker Punching. This is so terrifying because if they don't I could still lose this if they protect but I honestly think they're like specs or something like with the way that this team is playing and the fact that they've only clicked Astro Barrage so far granted they haven't had a better move to click yet I'm pretty sure the sash is on the big one and the specs is on the little one right like can we make that assumption I think we can so I think I'm just gonna be blade the Feromosa and Sucker Punch the Cali Shadow. I regret Dynamaxing that one time now. I, I wish I would have realized that, hey, this is probably Spexed <laughs> like a long time ago. Anyway, I'm going to Sucker Punch Cali. And yeah, this is just a nice and easy B Blade there. Let's see how this turn plays out. Yeah, it's just Spexed. Okay, cool. Good to know. Got rid of that problem. Now I got to deal with the other one. Hold on, I could probably still lose this if they get the beast boost here. Oh no, they went for the Zation. I think they messed up there. Because I'm pretty sure this brings it onto Sash and I can just suck a punch until the end of the game. So that should be GG. 
Yeah. There's a the sash. If they went for... I think if they went for the Evil Tall, got the Beast Boost, and then attempted to attack my Zation, it would have been a little bit better. I still don't think they would have knocked me out, though. I got nothing to lose by double attacking here. Battle is canceled. GG's. You can't win when you're 1 HP and your opponent has priority. Okay, that was almost terrible, but... Latias did a thing. I kind of sacked it, though, but it had to be done. Oh, it's this team. Okay, it's that weird team that got very good at a regional. I I'm not looking forward to it because, honestly, like, Kiram White tears through my team. One, two, three weaknesses to ice. I'm gonna have to bring Zacian. I think is I can leave with Zacian, though, and not be too threatened by their side of the field. The one thing I do have to worry about is that Ndidi lead with the Kiram. That's going to be a little frustrating. I do also have Thick Fat here on the Snorlax, now that I'm thinking about it. But they have that Ursh, so it, it, it's kind of iffy on what uh, we decide to do. I'm actually going to do this. I'm bringing a Lucky, but I'm bringing a Lucky first. I'm bringing Zacian first, just in case they try to do some cheeky Ditto. Like a uh, Ditto lead on first slot mechanic thing don't want to deal with that and then i guess we bring latias to this latias is like really not great in this matchup like calyrex shadow plus darker shifu plus kiram white yeah i think we're gonna have to leave latias behind but you know what we're bringing the snorlax so i think that's a fair trade right we bring my one with we leave one weird mon and bring the other pretty pretty fair trade But I gotta say, I, like, Kiram White has always been one of those Pokemon where it's like, it's not really great, but it's not really bad either. And when it works, it works hard. All right, they're gonna lead with the T Flame, it seems. That is honestly terrifying. I can get speed control here by clicking E Web and maybe protecting turn one. And then E Webbing again next turn, which is, I think, what I'm gonna do. So let's just E Web. And protect we are not gonna overthink this turn right we can't overthink this turn we can't afford to the the zation is literally the only thing i have to knock at this kiram i'm not gonna throw in my zation turn one to just like a protect and tailwind or just a tailwind plus max quake and i think they realize that too they realize that hey that zation's you know a threat so let me smack it in the face now, if they realize that I'm protecting, then that's another issue in and of itself, right? Then that's an issue that I'm gonna have to deal with, unfortunately. But let's try to get some speed control here. Here's my protect. Let's see how this turn plays out. What do we got, what do we got, we got Tailwind. Okay, so far everything's normal. Show me a Quake into the Zation. Wormwind, that makes me sad. I'm dead now. I guess that was their best play. They predicted my Protect and uh, deleted my Regilecki from the game. Okay, well now we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> now I can't even explain to you how much trouble we're in, but I can go into Snorlax. Hold on, I still got plays left to make here. I didn't give up yet. Still got plenty of plays to make. I'm gonna Snorlax. I'm going to Yawn. I'm going to heart swap into evil tall now heart swapping into evil tall are you kidding me kev what is wrong with you into a kiram listen what other choice do i have not really not really much <laughs> and this is probably gonna be a dynamax snorlax game by the way they're gonna willow my poor little bird to make me not want to dynamax snorlax now but it's a good thing that I swapped, followed by the Wormwind again. Well, you know that's not Zation. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm definitely not Dynamaxing you now. Bruh. Jeez. Can I get a break? Oh, well, here's a yawn, I guess. Like, I, I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> okay, well, I, like I said, don't know what to do. I'm going to click Darkest Larry on Talonflame because I guess that's my only option. And I'm going to go back into Zacian. 
Assuming that they won't burn the same spot twice and also assuming that um, they'll go for an ice move into that spot, which will be a little bit easier to tolerate than a ground move. Making a lot of swaps, I'm still not in a good position though. They flare blitz, please be into, dang it. I don't know what I'm gonna do anymore. <laughs> I think even if they just hailstorm me, I don't live anymore. Yeah, lost my station. Man, this is bad. The good news is I get the darkest Lariat off on the Town Flame. <laughs> Yay, I guess. Hopefully it does some damage here. Yeah! Big damage. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. I guess I can't complain about crits. Issue is T-Flame can still... Oh, wait, no, I'm already burned. Okay, so now I have to Dynamax, like, Evil Tall, like, I have no no option in the world. Which I think is okay. I mean, that's fine. I, I, I can easily knock out their Kiram at least. Their Kiram has to do its mandatory sleep turn this next turn. So I think getting rid of their Tailwind is more important. So let's just airstream the town flame, get rid of it. Because I need to maintain speed control once the tailwind runs out. They were not able to raise their speed at all during that whole Dynamax phase. They withdraw Kiram. They're gonna keep Kiram asleep. Okay. That is interesting. They're gonna copy my ditto. Oh, there are worse things in the world. Oh, I mean they're gonna copy my evil tall. Yeah, there, there are a lot worse things in the world. I mean the airstream boost should at least help me with that. And I'm gonna be Dynamax and they're not gonna be Dynamax, so. We're going to have that going for us as well. We're also Assault Vested, so we're also going to have that going for us. I'm not too worried. Um, what I am worried about is them going for just like a simple Sucker Punch or a Dark Move onto my Snorlax and knock on my Snorlax. My Snorlax is kind of like, I don't want to say dead weight because it, it is, it's still important to the team. It's important to have another Pokemon that my opponent can focus on. But um, it's, I don't think it's going to do much for this game. They Flare Blitz into my Snorlax spot, not going to connect anywhere. Followed by just a nice and free Airstream. I guess they were predicting a Max Darkness into their Evil Tall spot. Or their Kyurem spot prior. Ah. I understand Tailwind's important. I understand Tailwind is very important. That should have been the last turn of it. And also, I just matched the Ditto Scarf now, which is really nice. So I could potentially even outspeed here. Yeah, there's a Tailwind Peter. And I do have an Airstream boost on my Snorlax for what it's worth. <laughs> Snorlax is a little bit faster than before. All right, here's the Kiram. Does Steel Roller work or does Terrain have to be on the field for it to work? Fails when ground hasn't turned into a Terrain. So yeah, so Steel Roller is a little bit sketch for right now. I think I'm gonna yawn the Ditto. Or attempt to. Kiram didn't do its mandatory turn yet. I don't know if switching out counts as his mandatory turn. I don't think so. Okay, no matter what, Dark is fine unless they have Urshifu in the back. So I think a Max Darkness is going to be my play. This one is the special one. So let's go for that. Into Kiram. See how much damage we can do here. Did I use Snarl? They are still faster. Something avoided. It's the Evil Toll. And Snorlax lives. We get the yawn off. We're still in this, folks. We're losing a lucky turn one ain't gonna stop us. That is not enough damage, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I think they have the mandatory turn still. I don't know how switching out works with sleep turns. Yeah, there's the mandatory turn. Cool. And we got the yawn, baby. Our Snorlax will be going down here, unfortunately, but it is what it is. They're going to be asleep next turn, so. And now we just airstream into the Kiram spot, I think. And even if they snarled us, we also lowered their uh, special defense, so. I think we're fine. Oh. Oh, Hail went away. Oh, is that how Thick Fat works? It's not even affected by Hail? Interesting. I'm protecting. And I will airstream into the Kiram spot. This is my last turn of Dynamax. This is my last chance to get a lot of speed control on my side of the field. So let's protect here with Snorlax. 
They go for the Snarl. Even if they connect, it's not that big of a deal. We know that they're locked into Snarl, though. Big ol' Airstream now into the Kyurem. White is enough to knock it out. And let's see what their last is. If it's Calyrex, I'm a little spooked. I'm pretty sure I don't want to take one too many Astral Barrages, you know? It's not, it's not something I want to take every now and then. But if it's Urshi, I am ecstatic. Question is... I don't know... I don't know the items on this team. I know I probably should, but... Because I've seen this team so many times, I shouldn't know the items. It is Calyrex, okay. I mean, I mean, fine. Right? It's not like the end-all be-all. It's kind of still okay. Calyrex at least can't hurt Snorlax. All things considered. Oh no, I'm safety goggles on the Snorlax. That's why I'm not taking hail damage. Oh, that ends up being very convenient. Um, What is our highest damage output? We're burnt, so it's probably not these two. It's probably just Snarl. And Snarl will end up helping us anyway. It'll lower their special attack too. Ditto avoids, uh, fine. We avoided theirs, they can avoid ours. Fair, right? <laughs> it's fair now, we're even. Got a lot of damage on the Calyrex. They're gonna speed swap. I mean, okay. But you're gonna die now. You're just gonna die now, so. That's, 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 that's cool. Like, yeah, now your Ditto is faster, I guess. Like, you got me. It always, in fact, faster now. But... You know, I don't think that changes too much. Because we have AV and they don't. We are going to take constant burn damage, though. But the thing is, they are locked onto Snarl. We have Oblivion Wing. So theoretically, we can outheal them. I'm going to protect again. Because I want to make sure I can yawn it again if I get an opportunity to. And now we just Oblivion Wing the Ditto over and over and over and over. They have a second, they have a second chance to wake here, though. Because they burned their mandatory sleep turn last turn. I'm still faster. Oh, speed swap doesn't take my actual stats, it seems. Okay, that's good to know, too. I didn't know that. All right, awesome. We're learning a lot today. They do go for another Snarl. Gonna keep my Snorlax nice and safe. And I do have... And I avoid it again. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna attempt to yawn here, just in case the Snarl misses. And then Oblivion Wing. I don't think I can win this through just Snarls at this point. I think, honestly, Oblivion Wing might just KO here, because they weren't able to get the Snarl last turn. Nice! Another victory in today's episode, even after the very immediate detriment of losing our Aleki turn one and getting the negative one on our Zacian and having to swap so many times just to stall out their Dynamax, we somehow still won that one. Yawn OP. Rin ya. You don't see Rinya too often nowadays. But when I see it, I kind of know what to do against it. I'm just going to lead Tailwind stuff and bring my Aleki. If they bring Groudon, should I be afraid? Probably not too much. I could also just bring Tailwind, bring Lando. Have Aleki as a back run, a back, uh, you know, like a back option. Uh, my Zacian's a little rough against Rinya. Well, Zacian in, ge in general is really rough against Rinya, so I think I'm gonna bring Evil Tall instead. Should I settle for the Aleki? They have double ground type, so I'm, I'm not sure. Aleki could be a secondary way to get, like, a lot of speed and also deal with their own Zacian, assuming that we get rid of their ground types. I don't actually think they bring the Gastrodon, because we don't have any water Pokemon on our side of the field, so, like, why would they bring Gastrodon, right? But I do think that they are going to bring Charizard, and they are going to bring Groudon, and they are going to bring Zacian. Probably Grimmsnarl in there, too. Whoa! Well, there's their switch out to Electric, though. So I could have led. I could have led with some spookier leads, and I just didn't. I'm still going to attempt a Tailwind here. I think we got double floaty, so Groudon doesn't really present itself as much of a threat. And if it's Charty Berry, it's Charty Berry. Okay, it's White or Groudon. All right, good to know. 
I have an idea of ally switching or just like helping hand boosting and then just going for the KO. But they could have the instant in the back. So I think I'm just going to tailwind here. Hmm. Army wants a tailwind max guard. Is that a little aggressive? Maybe. I also have Whiter, so even if they do bring Zacian, it, it shouldn't matter. So let's also just go for a rock ball. Not Zacian, Ensign. Looks like they're bringing Ensign. Like I said, if we get the Tailwind up, that's fine. Whiter, baby. This is why we have Whiter. Now, next problem is, did they go into my Lander spot or did they go into my Latia spot? I have Ally Switch. I have... Uh, helping hand. I have options this next turn, but if this first turn doesn't go my way, oh, we are in some deep doo doo if my, this first turn does not go my way. <laughs> All right, double Dynamax gonna be there. Are both turn ones. Cool, fine. Please don't light me on fire. It's Dynamax, our Landorus. I, I mean, I feel like if they, if they swapped in that's the issue. If they swapped in the Ensign, which they did, I feel like their target is going to be the Landorus. I didn't want to protect here just in case they, they like, focused my Latias really hard. Oh, we get Tailwind. Oh, oh we're fine. I forgot. Oh, Latias is faster than Zard. We're fine. You could have Charty. This is still going to hurt. There's no way this doesn't at least bring you down to red. Okay, it didn't, but close enough. Close enough. And as long as they go for the Latias this turn, we could be in a pretty safe position. Let's see. We did change the weather, so they're not going to do as much damage with this wildfire. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, we're fine. We are absolutely, absolutely fine. Awesome. Cool. I like that. Now, I'm no longer afraid of this Zard that much. I know I should be since it is going to start chipping me away and stuff. I'm just kind of not. And Zard's probably going to protect, so... I think I'm just going to helping hand here. And click Airstream onto the instant spot. See how much damage you can do to that, to that side of the field. Even if they do switch that spot just to get some more Intimidate pressure, which they are. Oh, whoa! They burnt their Dynamax right there. That is wild. So we're going to have nothing but speed control here. They're probably going to want a party shot on me, if anything. They did all that just to get sun up, though. I think it's a little hyphy. Like, it's not necessary. Well, anyway, let's clap for our Landorus. And it's time to airstream. I don't actually know how much this is going to do. Oh, an amazing amount. They're still going to party shot, though, <laughs> which, which sucks, but it's life, right? It's fine. I, I, I guess negative one Landorus is better than negative two Landorus, which is what it's about to be the turn following. But like I said, they have like such little pressure right now, right? I still have Dynamax on my side of the field. I still have a Latias at nearly full HP. I have a lot of pressure here. They brought in a Groudon, but Groudon stab doesn't affect both of my Mons. So it's another another misconnection on their on their part they bring back their zard okay so that's gonna be is do they leave zard in knowing that i could just rock fall it though is that just gonna be a zation swap because they can't swap in okay listen hear me out i'm about to make a dumb play you ready because this zard's gonna die to solar power next turn anyway i'm gonna icy wind because i have to attack here i'm gonna quake assuming the zation is coming There is no need for a, for a play like this, though. There's no need. Oh, but imagine. Should I do it for the views? I'm going to do it for the views. I'm quaking the Charizard spot. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's still better than what it would have been. 
Uh, okay. Ah, fine. <laughs> I was about to blow my head off. That was going to be the most amazing moment of my life. But no, they just brought in Incin again. I mean, whatever. Incin's going to go down this turn is what that means. That's all that means. I now have a negative two lander. So all I really have to do. Yeah, Shuckaberry saved me. <laughs> all I really have to do is wait till Charizard dies from solar power. It's, it's not that serious. The issue is they do have a Zacian and we are slow Lando right now. Nice crit, baby. That was going to be a crit on the Zacian, dude. Oh, that would have been so nice. Oh, well. What can you do? We're going to take some more wildfire chip. This is really starting to rack up. If I'm going to be honest. But it's fine. No Dynamaxes are left in the game. No speed control left on their side of the field. So as long as we maintain Tailwind control, we are in a beautiful position. They're going to bring in Zacian. Um, I think they have to target down the Latias, because if they don't, they're trolling. So I think this turn is somewhat simple. It's just a double spread move turn. Uh, am I still in Tailwind? Arson life for three. Tailwind for one. Yep. Okay, so this is my chance to lower the Zacian speed here. I could preserve this. Uh, I could preserve Intimidate, but at, th at this point, I'm ready to let it go. I think I think Landorus has done more than enough this battle. So it's just a matter of getting our Aleki on the field. We we do start ha we we are gonna ha start having to chip down this Groudon, right? Because the Aleki won't be able to do that itself. Does this Aleki have normal type moves? Okay, it does have a normal type move, but I can't Dynamax it because I've already Dynamaxed, so it's gonna be a very bad normal type move. But hey, here's the Icy Wind. I'm gonna lower the Zacian speed. It's gonna help out my uh, my Backmon a lot when they come on the field. Also really decent damage onto the Groudon. Lander should now go next. Get that nice EQ damage off on the Zacian. Hopefully do something. I know it's negative two. I'll take that. You gotta take what you can get at this point. They set Sub up. Interesting. Followed by Rock Slide. Also interesting. So we just get Tailwind up again is what that means. Ooh, hardly, but yes, we will get it up. Okay. Tailwind Peters. I'm going to bring a Lucky on the field. The subonization is a little bit annoying. But I think as long as we have Tailwind. We got to try to break the sub too. So I'm just going to T-bolt it. They could protect Zacian and be annoying. They don't. Okay, good. Yeah, we just want to break the sub here. They sub again, they sub again. But as, as long as we keep it broken, we're, we're in a pretty decent spot. All right, let's get the Tailwind up. Nice. We're going to have that for the next four turns. So we have multiple chances to knock out their team. They go for the B-Blade. I think that was also the last turn of Wildfire, their last turn as well. They go for the B-Blade on the Latia, so they're really hoping to just connect with the Precipice onto my Lucky, which, I mean, they could. And they will. And now my Evil Tall has to win the game on its own. Little scary. I don't feel like I'm in a, I'm in a great position. This definitely doesn't feel like a great position. Um... One too many rock slides is going to be menacing for me. Oh boy, what do I do? I think I foul play the station. It could protect, but it, it didn't protect yet. It might have sub over protect. Nope, they have protect. Dang it. That changes a lot. That does change a lot. Let's see how much this rock slide is doing to us now. That's a lot of damage, I'll be honest. Sunlight fades. I think I still go for the Zacian spot here. And then I start, I'll, I'll, I'll Oblivion Wing next turn. On the Groudon and stuff. 
And I'll get a lot of this health back. Dang it, stop it. They really want to preserve that Zacian, don't they? They're forcing me to play very far back. I mean, I essentially have to knock out three Pokemon, which is not an easy feat. I could have attacked this Groudon twice. You can miss one of those sometimes, just saying. Just trying to let you know you could miss. The thing is, like, now they know that... <laughs> now they're just going to double attack with Zacian and Groudon, because they have nothing to lose them at 1 HP. So I kind of have to rely on a Rock Slide miss now. Right? Is that what that means? Because I can't Oblivion Wing. I won't be, it won't be enough damage to knock out the Zacian. I have to go for the Foul Play. It's the only move that'll be enough damage to knock out Zacian, and they're going to double attack me because there's nothing to lose. If they Behemoth me, I die. If they Rock Slide me, I die. So I have to hope for the Rock Slide miss. Why would they do that? <laughs> I mean, I understand it's the it's safe too. Oh, are they stalling my tailwind? I still have sucker punch though. Okay, well that kind of changes everything. I mean, I still have to rely on rock slide miss though. But they could go for fire punch and win if they have it, right? All right. Well, we have no. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I threw that. Oh, anyway, they outsped. GG. I thought I would at least be able to maybe outspeed since the Zacian was negative one, but I guess not. I guess the calc just wasn't there. I don't know what the EV spreads are on this evil tall. I'll know when I make the Poke pace for this team, but I don't know right now at the time of recording. Oh, anyway, that was a close battle. It was very back and forth. I feel like the, the Lucky actually did nothing for us, and the sub on Zacian is what won them that game because it gave them the turn it needed, and also just us attacking Zacian when it was protecting didn't help at all. Regardless, GG's to my opponent. And here you have the rental code for the Latias team. Thank you so much to TBHLA7130 on Twitter for making this team public. I do greatly appreciate it. Team is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm actually happy that I got to use Snorlax today because I didn't think I was going to get to use it because it, it seems like a very niche Pokemon that isn't great in multiple situations, but we were actually able to use it today. So cool. I do love the Latias. I think it does everything that it has to do well. And I do also really like the Zacian, the Evil Tall combination. Landers did fine today. The Alecky I know can be good. Unfortunately, we just faced one too many ground types for it to do really too much in any of the battles. But hey, it is what it is. If you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like and comment down below. Show some love to Poke Sports. Thank you guys so much for making it this far in the video. Enjoy the rental code and uh, have a great night. I'm Kevin's Poke Sports. Bye bye.